Hey, welcome back to my new video. This is Easy Tutorials, and for those of you who are the first time in this channel, please consider subscribing. Today we'll be creating this. Before we start, I'd like to invite you to support me on Patreon. You can also get access to all my premium content. So, let's see how we can create each individual example. First, let's import the files we need into After Effects. You can download the full project and the files from the link in the description. Drag Video 1 over this icon to create a new composition. Grab your text tool and start writing. I am using the Pantone font family, with black caps style and 80 pixels size. Be creative, you can even use multiple fonts to create your text. Let's align it, and animate it. Click here to open its properties. Then click on animate, and select opacity from the list. Go to Animator 1, and click, Add, Property, Blur. Click on Range Selector 1, and look for, Offset. Move your playhead forward, to 15 frames, then click here to create a keyframe, and change this value to minus 100. Move to 2 seconds and 15 frames, and change this value to positive 100. Click on Advanced, then change shape to, Ramp Up. Look for Randomize Order, and click here to activate it. We also have to change the Blur values to 40, and the Opacity to 0%. Our text animation should look like this. Place your playhead at 3 seconds and 15 frames, and select your text layer. Click on Edit, then Split Layer. Select the top text layer and delete it. Now, select our text layer again, then click Ctrl D to duplicate it. Drag the new layer like this, to make it start when the first one ends. Then right click on it, and select, Time, and Time Reverse Layer. Let's preview it, now it should disappear too. Select both text layers and pre-compose them. Don't forget to check move all attributes to the new composition. Select your new composition, go to the first keyframe, and press S to open the scale. Change this value to 110%. Then click here to create a keyframe. Move to the last keyframe, and change the scale values back to 100%. Now click here, and change the video 1 track mat to, Alpha Mate. Let's see our final animation. Looks good, doesn't it? To start creating the second example, drag Video 2 here, to create a new composition. Write some text. As I said before, try to be creative. Move to the last frame, and place your text in the final position. You can change your blending mode to screen. 
select the video layer, and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Click here to hide the bottom video layer. Go to Effects and Presets panel and search for Luma Key. Apply it to your composition and let's adjust its settings. Change key type to, key out brighter. Then rise the threshold value until your result is similar to this. Also, change the edge feather to 1. Make the bottom layer visible again, then place the text layer between the two video layers. As you can see, now the text is hidden behind the forest. Move to the last frame, and press P to open the position. Click on this stopwatch to create a keyframe. Move to the first keyframe, and drag your text layer like this, until it is completely covered. Let's watch our result. Wow, the second example of cinematic intro looks really cool. For the third example, we'll use a mix of the two previous animations. Drag video 3 here to create a new composition. Write your text, and place it in its final position. Change its blending mode to overlay. Now let's create the same effect as in the first example. Animate its opacity. Add blur. Keyframe the offset to minus 100 and positive 100 values. Change the shape to ramp up. Activate Randomize Order. Change the Blur to 40. And the Opacity to 0%. It starts to look OK. Select the video layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Switch off the visibility of the bottom layer. Apply the Luma Key effect to this video layer, and adjust its settings like before. Change the key type to Key Out Brighter. Then adjust the threshold until you key out, only the unwanted part of the image. It should be OK like this. Don't forget to change the edge feather to 1. Switch back the visibility of the bottom layer and place your text between the two video layers. Let's check the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create these wonderful cinematic intros in After Effects. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and comment. It would be great to know your opinions about my tutorials. Also, you can make requests for new tutorials about interesting effects or animations that you would like to learn. See you soon.